Hey everybody, what's up? This is RDH Davis, and today I'm going to be watching the first teaser trailer for the live-action Disney movie, The Little Mermaid. So, like always, we're going to watch the teaser trailer first, and then afterwards we're going to be talking about it. And then I'm going to be talking about a character that I'm a little concerned about, that how they're going to portray this character in this live-action movie. Um, so let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Oh, when the ship is outside, the fireworks. Uh -uh. Wish I could be. Part of that world. <clears throat> Till next year on uh, May 2023. Not, I haven't chosen the date yet, but so I gotta say, the teaser trailer, there's not much to go by. I mean, it is after all the first teaser trailer. They didn't show that much, but I will say this I think the underwater effects looks pretty good. There were some moments in the trailer that got me feeling a little nostalgic, remembering how I was in the cartoons, but that's pretty much it. I mean, like I said, there's not much to go by here. So let's go ahead and move on to our next topic, which is about the character that I'm, like I said, I'm concerned of how they're going to portray this character in the live action Little Mermaid movie. Now, some of you may think that it's about Ariel. It's not. I'm not here to talk about Ariel. I'm here to talk about a different character. Now, I know the internet seems to be talking a lot about this actress who is going to play the live-action Ariel. Honestly, I really don't care much about the character Ariel, nor do I care who is going to play Ariel in this live-action movie. Now, don't get me wrong, I am excited for the actress Halle Bailey, who is going to play Ariel, because this is like the first time we have a Black Mermaid princess to come out in this live-action Disney movie. And I think it's a very exciting moment for her. I hope she does a fantastic job for the role. So far from what I've seen in the teaser trailer and the clip that they leaked in the internet of her singing Part of Your World, she sounds great. I think she sounds terrific. I think she'll do a good job, but I need to see more of how she's going to portray the character Ariel. I can only go by from what I've seen in the teaser trailer and from the clip, so I would have to wait until the full movie comes out, which will be until 2023 on May. So best of luck to her, and I hope she avoids the internet because right now it's such a ridiculous place to be at the moment. But let's get back to the topic about the character that I'm concerned about. You're probably wondering, Davis, what other character would you be worried about for this film? <laughs> My dear sweet child. It's Ursula. <laughs> That's right, we're going to be talking about the great sea witch Ursula and the actress who's going to play Ursula. To let you know, I am a big fan of Disney villains. I always have been, and I grew up with the Disney animated films, and I love all the Disney villains that came out in the past. But this live-action movie, I'm concerned about Ursula. The actress that they chose to play Ursula is Melissa McCarthy. I'm sure a lot of you guys know about that. When they announced the cast three years ago of who's going to come out and play these characters uh, in the live action Little Mermaid. And when I saw that it was going to be Melissa McCarthy, part of me was very concerned, to be honest. And the reason why is because, you know, Melissa McCarthy, I've seen her in a lot of comedy movies and she mostly plays a lot of funny characters. So it makes me think, like, is she right for the role? I don't know. I have to see how she performs as Ursula. Because Ursula, you know, she's a diva and she's got a lot of sass and everything. So trying to see Melissa McCarthy playing this character is something I'm having trouble with. The only thing I could think about Melissa McCarthy playing like an evil role is when she came out in that movie Spy 
And there were moments in that scene where she was talking back or bad to the other actress that she was trying to take care of. I, I'm sorry, I don't remember that much about the movie, but that's the thing I could think of. I hope uh, for some of you who have seen the movie know what I'm talking about. And there's another movie where she came out that's called Please Forgive Me. In that movie, she does play a serious role. Maybe if she brings that to the table when she's going to portray Ursula, maybe it might work. I think she has the voice for Ursula and the body. The body language. <laughs> maybe, you know, but we have to see. I just hope that she brings, you know, sass and divaness to this character. Because that's what Ursula's all about. So I think this will be sort of a challenge for Melissa McCarthy. For her to challenge herself to play something that's out of her comfort zone, maybe. And that's the thing about actors and actresses. That they have to challenge themselves to play something different than th what they're used to playing before. I know some actors play, you know, mostly funny characters. Or they play, like, action characters. So I can only just hope that Melissa McCarthy plays Ursula well and... She does phenomenal. Maybe in the next trailer, they will reveal how Melissa McCarthy is going to look as Ursula. I hope she has like the, the white hair. I don't know if she's going to have purple skin, but I do hope that she looks the part. And I do hope that she could sing Poor Unfortunate Souls very well. That's another challenge that she has to do. I don't think I've ever heard her sing or seen her sing. So this is something that's going to be very interesting to watch. Now, another thing I do hope to see in this live action movie is an origin story of Ursula. I want to see how did Ursula become the iconic sea witch. It would be cool to see a flashback of seeing Ursula living in Atlantica and her working in the palace alongside with Ariel's father, King Triton. Also to see if maybe she had a love interest, if she had a partner before. Maybe she used to have a thing with King Triton until... King Triton fell in love with someone else, which is Ariel's mother. There are rumors that Ursula and King Triton are brother and sister, which would make her uh, Ariel's aunt. But I kind of like the idea that King Triton and her used to be a thing. But I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what story they would give us. But the one thing I hope they do not give us is a redemption story for Ursula. They've already done it with Maleficent and Cruella. I don't want them to do it with Ursula. Now, I understand that maybe Disney's trying to teach children in this generation that villains are misunderstood, but not always. Sometimes people are just plain bad and plain evil. If they do give us an origin story of Ursula, they have to show us why did she get banished from the palace. I mean, she had to do something very bad in order for her to get banished. Maybe she did some terrible things when she used to live in the palace and King Triton had no choice but to banish her completely in order to protect his people from his kingdom. And one more thing, if they do happen to show Ursula in her human form, I hope they don't show her skinny. I want her to be fat. Okay, because then it will explain why in the cartoon that when Ariel was going to give up her voice and Ursula's like, Oh, don't worry, honey. Even if without your voice, you still have your looks, that pretty face. You know, it would explain maybe that back in the past, Ursula maybe wanted to have a skinnier body, but, you know, things didn't work out for her, that men were not attracted to her because of how she looked. And she thought the only way to get what you want is to be, to have a good figure. And sometimes not getting what you want leads to jealousy. I mean, after all, in the animated version of The Little Mermaid, Ursula, you know, wanted to steal Prince Eric away from Ariel. And I'm pretty sure it was out of jealousy because she saw... Ariel was able to get Eric to fall in love with her, even if it wasn't the mermaid that Eric was looking for. He was still falling in love with who he thought was a different person. And Ursula, I'm pretty sure she got jealous of that, where she's like, that's not fair. How could she win this man's heart, even without her voice or anything? It's, it's not, I don't understand. Well, that's the thing, Ursula. You don't know how to love yourself. Just love yourself. That way, other people can love you for who you are. But that's what Ursula never learned. You see, I should write the story for Ursula. Man, give me my book. Now comes to my conclusion to this video of the teaser trailer, The Little Mermaid. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Thank you so, so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed everything I had to say about it, especially about Ursula. Do you also hope that Ursula gets an origin story? Do you hope that Ariel gets an origin story with her mother? Please share your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you hope to see in this live action movie? Please keep it respectful, by the way. Know the difference between being rude and actually giving a a proper critique. It's like Thumper always said in the Disney Bambi, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. And be sure to take advantage of their special deal they have right now for Disney Plus. It's $1.99 for the whole month. 
Then after that, they will charge you the regular price, which I believe is $7.99. And the deal ends on September 19 for $1.99. So get it while you can, guys. I think it's a pretty good deal for right now if you want to watch Hocus Pocus and other Disney films that are available right now, such as Pinocchio and more. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take good care of yourselves. Have a good day or a good night. Laters!